once again, Tyree, you, 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 you amazes me. Once again, bro. I'm going to be straight up with you, man. We all know you're a coward. We all know that. Everybody, everybody that be on YouTube know you ain't nothing but a a a, a panties wearing sissy boy punk coward. You 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 are the 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 type of loser, low life maggot that would do what you do, do what you do on the, on this little ranting about Ashley. You're ranting about the woman that you say you you freaking love. Oh, I love and literally, literally or is this this is ain't nothing but a bash session bashing her because she don't want nothing to do with your sorry, worthless tore up Nasty digging up your nose, child of a, of a of a man. I have never in my life despised somebody much as I despise you. Cause you you, you want to know why? I ain't even gonna say your name no more. Cause you you ain't you ain't you ain't you ain't man enough to this for somebody to say your name. So I'm just gonna start calling you the. The, the the loser. The loser sneeze. That's all I'm gonna call you. The loser sneeze. You should not have even been born. I don't know what your coward family is thinking having you. And I call your family cowards because they just as racist as you are. You had to learn that crap from somewhere. So, once again, you are the epitome of a of a of a man that is scared of his own shadow. That talk about people. For no reason. You bash them for no reason. Every time you're out and about. You get something to eat. Or you do this do that. You always run your mouth about that server. Or the person helping you. Who's, who bad mouth somebody that just helped you? Just bring you, bring you your drink. Or bring you your food. Why do you always have to pit those people down run your mouth about them they did nothing to you and you always seem to have to be little them when they turn their back for, for they don't hear you so loser sneeze that is some coward stuff you ain't no man you ain't tough Stop saying that crap. You gonna try to say, Ash, she told you not to hit that dude. Man, shut the F up. You got your tail whooped. Because you're a little punk. That's all you are. All you are is a sissy. A straight up sissy. You ain't no man. You ain't no goddamn honorable man. You are a child. A child... That 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 when growing up probably didn't have no friends, everybody hated you. You probably you, you probably did stuff in school that people be like, Ugh, that weird dude. And it's you. You are nothing but a weird cowardly little boy. That everybody named Mama hates with a passion. You, you you are literary, man. You are literary. Literary. Such a low life. Piece of crap. Dirt bag. That you have the nerve. To get. Mad at somebody else. If they don't. 
donate to you. And people, what the F are y'all doing? Why are y'all following this 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 bag of dicks? Why do y'all even listen to this bag of dicks? He's not nothing. Y'all are acting like this dude is the Messiah and he's going to take y'all to the promised land. This dude costing y'all more than he's helping y'all. How many times have you got to donate to, the, to, this, to this loser? Please, give me one excuse why y'all are still acting like y'all got to talk to him. And I care, y'all gotta, y'all gotta give him praise, this dude. He's a bum. Don't y'all understand? And I'll tell you the truth, man. I'm starting to think. Are y'all just as racist as he is? Because why else would y'all, would y'all follow a racist? And then, act like it's okay for him to bash y'all. Why? Because y'all got a brain of your own? I mean, he tried to make y'all feel sorry. All the time. Uh, listen to all these excuses he have made to try to get people to feel sorry for him. And as you, as, if y'all really, really, really truly smart, open up your eyes and listen Y'all know he's nothing but a phony. The man, look, I, I'm running out all his excuses. First excuse I ever heard him say. Um, Ashley, I don't know what's wrong with her. I just want my girl. I'm just depressed. I'm depressed. I'm, just, I'm depressed. I, I, I just don't want to live. I want to live. I'm just so depressed. And he literally said, I'm so depressed. I asked you this, I asked you that. Oh my God. And this dude said, Oh, Press is coming coming over to see me face to face. Cause he thought I'ma commit suicide. That's how that's how much like I'm 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 depressed. I'm depressed. I'm depressed. And then he said I have a brainstem injury that swells up and can kill me. And I'm sorry, like, you know, eh, 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 eh. I've been doing this and, and still be doing my, 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 my own YouTube because I'm just that great. I'm that great. <laughs> See, y'all just don't understand. I'm great. I'm great. And it's like, it took no more than 10 minutes after he said he had this, that injury. It took no, five, 10 minutes. He's already gloating about how great he is because he had to go through that. And he still was on YouTube. Like he said, he still did his YouTube because he, the people asked him to do it. Asked me to do it, so I had to give the people what they want. And I'm like, shut the f up, bro. You don't got nothing wrong with you. You never do, and you never will. That's just the that's just the griminess in you, loser. Sneeze. You are just that grimy and that pitiful of a person that you would use any means to get attention. Okay, that's, that's excuse number two you had to, you know, had to say. Okay, third one. Uh, actually, this, no, she ain't calling me back. See, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm just gonna, you know, I ain't broke by this. Nope. I'm gonna keep fighting. I'm gonna this, this, that. I can use the excuse of Ashley to almost every one of your little speaking events. 
you think Ashley is, oh, you did that Ashley was the world and she is perfect and you is perfect. You literally was talking like that. But all of a sudden now, Ashley is a dirt bag on drugs. She's just a worthless woman. But you were still here in a hurry and beg for her to come back. Beg. Beg. You you are pretty good at begging. You beg for money. You beg for um what's that? Subs or beg for likes or whatever you beg for. Oh, oh, here go another excuse. I'm quitting YouTube. I'm quitting YouTube. I don't need YouTube. I don't need YouTube. I don't need YouTube. You know, this is my show. This is my show. Hey, idiot, it ain't your show. YouTube can cut you off anytime they want to. That's why they haven't gave you a little, um, hey, what's that you be always begging them to do? What's that we begging him to do all the time? He want from YouTube. Yeah, one we get paid for. Oh, work. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Terry, you 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 begging for them to pitch you on, pitch you on for you can start making money from them. Oh, monetize. Monetize you. You want to be monetized so bad, but you don't need YouTube. You don't need YouTube, huh, Butter? Huh, Buttercup? You don't need YouTube. YouTube, they need you. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean, loser? You know what I mean? I'm an angel. You know what I mean? YouTube, I'm an angel. How dare you not monetize me? I'm an angel, bruh. Bruh. I'm a millionaire, bruh. I'm a millionaire. Y'all need me. Let's see. I never heard Bill Gates on YouTube begging for <laughs> subs or monetize. Let's see. I never heard Jay Z beg for monetize. I never heard Lil Wayne begging for monetize. I never heard. Uh, let's see. Let's see, Lil Wayne, Jay Z, uh, never heard of freaking Eminem beg for monetize. But you know who I hear the most begging for getting monetized and subs and donations? Is Loser Sneeze. I told you, prick, I'm never saying your name again. You don't deserve to get your name said in public to anybody. Cause you ain't you ain't you ain't worth you ain't worth toilet paper. Your life ain't worth nothing. You are nothing but a coward that just keeps getting by. And you always talking about it. ain't nobody roll up on you. Talking about people ain't rolling up you because this and that. You know why? Because one, everybody don't listen to you, 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 you loser. Everybody don't listen to you, one. Two, people don't care. Three, people really don't care. They don't care about you, man. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm tired of you getting away. You are just pitiful, pitiful excuse, bro. Pitiful excuse. I just, that's what you are, man. You're just a pitiful excuse of a human. And because you are a, a, a nobody wannabe, you like to bring other people down to your little man level. That's what you are. A little man, a little man with big dreams. 
<laughs> little men with big dreams. The only thing about it, though, you are a, you are 30. You are 30 years old. Living out of a hotel, trying to, trying to act like it, it's okay. It's, it's cool to live out of a hotel. It's cool to get a knock at the door, a tent something. Housekeeping? Housekeeping? Oh, what you'd probably say, that's your um, butler, right? Right? That's your butler, right? Yeah, your butler just... She got, he or she got to come clean up your, your mansion. You know. You know, that mansion you living in. Hey, I think I like the mansion too. Uh, a mansion too. One big room. Um, you get to you get to have the whole central air to you. You see, um, you get all the furniture in the room to you. You know, sometimes you, it might be some meth heads that probably die over deed in, in that room. But hey, hey, you know, you you Tyree, you you the best man. You don't care about. Rats probably running through the hotel. Hey, you know, you're a millionaire. You're a millionaire. So, you know, who who ought to talk about your uh, your your butler in your in your mansion? You know? Who am I to do that? You know, I'm just I'm just hating on you, you know. But like you say all the time, you like living this life. Right? You love this life. You love this life. This life is for you, man. Even though you you couldn't bust a grape in a fruit fight. But, like you say, Tyree. Oh, you got me. I said your stupid name. Loser Sneeze. You are a great loser, bro. That is one thing you do well. Is be a good loser. You know, I mean, it's just, you're just amazing, bro. So, I'm going to end on this. Stop with all of it, bro. Stop. When you stop, I stop. When you stop running your mouth on here and lying to people, pitting, pitting, pitting people down, pitting uh, women down because she don't want nothing to do with you and you a blaster business all on all on YouTube for no reason but your own, and, and and you keep on being racist towards every race but white. It is coming to an end, loser, sneeze. You better stop, cause I'm not just I'm not I don't like this crap. YouTube, that's why I ain't showing my face. I don't like it. I don't want people coming up to me and asking me, well, "You don't use the but." It's embarrassing. It ain't nothing fun about this. It ain't fun. And it shouldn't be fun. But you want it. You, this is your life. That's, what, that's why you'll never grow up. You'll never grow up. You, you are a bona fide loser. You ain't nothing but a skid mark in your underwear. That's all you are. It's the only thing you are. You are nothing. You know it as well as we. Everybody else knew it. That's why you try to be so racist. So once again, I put down the challenge to you. Thousand dollars. You talk about it. Be about it. You ain't like I said every time, loser. You ain't about this life. You ain't even close to being about this life. You don't even know what this life is. Because if you did, you wouldn't even be talking about it. You know what I mean? Loser. The Gangsters, real gangsters, don't never step foot in jail. Don't ever, ever, ever run their mouth. They keep to themselves, take care of their business, and move on. And let you in a little secret. It ain't it ain't it ain't good being a a, a a G or a gangster. You know you know you know what's gangster? You know what's gangster ain't you know what's one of the hardest nails the day your children walk across that stage graduating from high school and then pray to God a man above say, I'm gonna let your your kids graduate college. And then 
I'm going to hope, my, hope and pray my, my, my kids walk with the Lord. So that's, 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 that's gangster. That's, that's some G stuff. That's some G stuff when your family walks with the Lord and, 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 and have no shame about it. Have no shame about it whatsoever. That's being, that's being G about something. When your kids say they love you and they, they, they appreciate you being their father. Or you just happy that they let you be their father. See, that's, that's, that's gangster. That's, that, that, that's what it's all about. You don't know that life. You will never know that life because you know what? You're not a stand-up person. You never will be, and you never have, a, have kids that's going to tell you that I love you, thank you for being my father. You would never have that. Never. Every day, I tell my kids I love them. I tell my daughter, she's my princess. She's my, she's my, 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 my world. And she, it never, I never have another daughter. And she knows that. But you, you're a loser. That's all you will ever be. Yeah, you're a loser. You don't know how to be a winner. You ain't got no kids because you're not a winner. You are a loser. That's so stay a loser. That's why you hate on everybody else. That's why you hate on every other race. That's why nobody respects you. Because you ain't nothing but a nose picking, terrible rapping, wanna be thug, scatter your own shadow. You got doodle streaks in your underwear. Your pants can walk by themselves because you never wash them, but you gangster, but you, you, you about it. Man, you ain't about nothing. Man, you never been to the hood. You don't know what the hood look like. You know what's hood? You know what's nice, nice about being in the hood? It's getting out of the hood. The day you get out of that hood, that's the best thing about the hood. And nothing more, nothing less. So, I'm going to leave you on this note again. Step up to the plate. Or stay the F out of, F out of the YouTube. Because either or, man, I'm coming to get you. I'm going to get you. I'm going to pull up on you. And you're going to pay. Because you don't know who I am. What I look like. Only thing you know about me is, I'm really the real deal Holyfield, bro. And I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you.